Can you tell us in 2019 on the World Cup tour, you thought that your coaching career was over. Can you tell us what happened? Yeah, it was really bizarre, Luke. I was in, it was just, it was the day before, two days before the first World Cup game. And I was at training and I got, kept getting this noise in my left ear. Was, and I explain it like, or I describe it like, you know, in Star Wars, when the two sabers, the sa and it kept, I was just going, oh, this is really weird. These like the sabers kept going boom, choo, 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 every time I moved to move my head, and I thought that's really weird. And I left training, which was absolutely bizarre because I felt so rubbish. And I went and I fell asleep, and I slept for about uh, the rest of the day. Um, and then since then, that the sabers has just turned into a constant ringing in my left ear. And this is what they call I've learned about. It's called tinnitus. So that was the start of a really um, tough journey for me personally because it then turned into a whole lot of number of issues that have got to do with my uh, inner ear so uh, yeah it was a really tough time and it's still as we sit here right now I've got this ringing in my left ear which just never goes away. A lot of us have heard about tinnitus and and uh, for some reason you, you don't associate it in my mind with someone like you fit and strong and healthy and uh, always looking after themselves. It, was it any understanding as to why it came on so suddenly? Was it stress-related or no reason? It's so funny, again, because I spoke to a tinnitus world expert when I was in Adelaide for the first test match, and a few things he said. He said, do you drink coffee? I said, I love coffee. <laughs> he said, do you drink alcohol? I said, oh, yeah, not a bit, red wine. Yeah, a little bit. He said, um, do you have... Headphones, do you wear headphones? I say every single day in the gym. And then he said, Got any stress at work? I went, Oh, stress at work. Oh my gosh. No, you could say I've got a bit of stress at work. He goes, they're, they're the four things, but they're the things I've learned. I've also learned that a lot of people around the world suffer from tinnitus. My younger brother's had it for about 20 years. Uh, and the, the, there doesn't seem to be any specific reason why. So that's why it's such a, um, it's a tough thing to treat. And, and it, it got so bad at the time though, Jay, Jay you, you genuinely thought this was the end of, of your coaching career. How much pain were you in? Well, there's, there was three things, right? There was tinnitus, the vertigo, but I was still feeling, I was feeling rubbish. It was like I was seasick and I was drunk for about nine months. And in my job, I had to keep putting the mask on all the time and not show it. And then I met this neurologist. I, I wasn't sure if I had brain tumour. I didn't know what was going on. I had, two, I had two scans on my brain. I met this neurologist who diagnosed me with these vestibular migraines. The hard thing when I, you didn't know what was going on, it's really scary. And then I met some, some, some people who helped me. At least I knew what was going I was on. I, now I'm on medication for these uh, migraines. I know I've got a specialist if I get the vertigo. And the tinnitus, basically, I've got to live with and, and just be careful with my lifestyle. So um, that's why it became so hard in that nine months, mainly because I didn't know what was going on. Joe, you talked about tinnitus, but also vertigo and vestibular migraines. Is, is there a link between all three? I've had migraines all my life, and it's all got to do with the vestibular, it's got to do with inner ear. Um, vertigo's got to do with inner ear and the crystals in your ear um, that shift every now and then, and then obviously the tinnitus. So, yeah, I think they're all related. Um, and I, it was funny because when I spoke to the, when I got to meet the um, physiotherapist, I mentioned about migraines and she, you could see her eyes light up and she said, yeah, they're, they're somehow related. Uh, I saw an ear, nose um, and throat specialist and they all work together as a team and they're, they're helping me out, which is absolutely gold for me. You sort of casually said before, you know, yeah, I've got the ring in my ear now and I've just learned to deal with it. To me, that sounds... God, you wake up every day and you've got that as, as a constant thing going on. How, how do you go about dealing with that? As I said, besides the coffee, which I love, I certainly haven't had headphones in since I spoke to the specialist. Um, I've tried to cut down on my coffee. I've tried to um, cut down on my stress. It doesn't help when you lose to India, though. Uh, <laughs> and all, <laughs> all the backlash and all the hysteria that comes with that. Uh, so I just try to change my lifestyle a little bit to deal with it, but there's not much you can do about it, unfortunately.